Hey you guys, Naturally Marked here. Today I'm going to be discussing how to prevent breakage while you have your box braids in and how to prevent dryness. So if you're interested in this video, just keep watching. So my first tip that I have for you guys is to not put your hair in a bun. I'm going to insert a couple of pictures to show you what I mean and ponytails. I do not pull my hair back. It is almost two months. It's, it's almost two months my hair has been in these box braids and at first I was gonna do like the whole 18 different hairstyles that you can do with your box braids and honestly I will not pull my braids up into a high bun or try to pull them into a half up half down style or even rocking the ever so iconic Janet Jackson uh, waterfall of hair style because the stress that it puts on your edges is going to make your edges break off. And especially when you have, like, you guys can see all of my new growth that I've accumulated. It's been, a, I have one more week and it'll be two months. I thought after my hair loosened up, which means the natural sway or the fall, Crystal had braided my hair with a deep side part. What I mean by loosen up is if I tilt my head over like this, you see how my hair is just naturally falling now. Did not disturb the natural part in my hair, which leads me to my second tip, is not disturbing the natural part that the braids are falling. I try, I kept my natural part for three weeks. For the first three weeks, I left my hair in the natural state because your braids are braided in a particular way and if you pull them up or put tension on your hair too soon that can also cause break. I will never pull my hair up in a bun and I will not disturb the natural fall of my box braids. Um, some people may be able to pull their braids up or move their braids or maneuver them around but my braids are pretty heavy. They're, they've gotten heavier now as the two months went on because I've been spraying stuff in my hair. But they've gotten heavier and I just would not put all of my hair on the top of my head like that. So rolling over into the third tip of how to keep your hair from not getting dry. Your scalp from not being dry. Basically, I already have a morning and a nighttime routine. I need to do my midday routine for you guys. But I put oil and spray my hair daily. I, it, I don't miss a day that I do not spray my hair. I especially make sure that I spray the mess out of my edges. I'm using aloe vera juice right now to moisturize my edges. I make sure that my edges is saturated and then I also go back through every night and put castor oil on the hairline of my edges just to ensure that I am taking special care of my hairline and even not just my hairline like even the nape of my head. I am making sure that I am keeping those those moisturized. Um, even doing hot oil treatments, I put that oil on my fingers. I'm, I massage it like this. I put a big old plastic bag on my head. I put my hair rag on and I leave my hair like that for at least 30 minutes to do a nice hot oil treatment. That is one way that I prevent dryness on my hair. The fourth and last tip that I have for you guys to preventing breakage while your box braids are in your hair. So when you tie your hair rag on, you need to make sure, and I'm going to do a video on this too. You need to make sure that the nape of your hair is not pulled. It's kind of difficult to show you, but you need to make sure the nape of your hair is not pulled tight. So I, I, I hope that makes sense because when you tie your hair rag on and, and you also need to make sure that your hair rag is not cutting like this. Like if you can see this of your hair when you put your hair rag on, that's not properly tying your hair rag on boo. Your hair rag need to be way down here going behind your ears to make sure that your entire hairline is covered. I see that a lot of people don't cover up their full, goodness gracious, 
they don't cover up their full hairline and that literally almost prevents you from tying your hair up somewhat but you're wanting to protect your edges the most and if you are putting your hair rag on and your edges is still exposed your edges is getting exposed to the cotton pillowcase or or whatever I try sleeping on a satin pillowcase it works sometimes it doesn't so I have two different versions just depending on what type of mood I'm in I have two different type of versions but I'm all of pillowcases but I always tie my hair up at night it doesn't matter so just be careful with the way that you are tying up your braids so those are my quick simple easy tips to preventing breakage while you have your box your box braids in i know that is is really simple and it's easy and i know that some of these hairstyles are really cute but i do not wear my hair up or anything like that just to make sure that my hairline is not broken off one other thing that could be a bonus tip for you guys is it's only been two months and you guys can see how much my hair has already grown out i wanted to go three months but i don't know if i'm gonna last three months because i have to be very careful with my edges now that they've grown out that much so take your hair down when it needs to be taken down so that you're not risking the health of your hair. I hope this helped you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!